Hey there, Lick and Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we're going to discuss muting strings while playing. Okay, while playing fingerstyle. And this is a pretty tricky technique to master, but you can do it. Okay, now I played, okay, I played this chord, A minor 7. And I muted the bass string. Okay, so so it's not as prominent. Okay, I muted it. Okay, now this is pretty easy to do. Okay, you just need to find the right balance. Okay, and feel the strings with your with the bottom of your palm. And we're gonna talk uh, about it, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. But you're not usually just playing one chord, right? You're not playing this. You're playing... Hey, you're playing whole riffs. So first of all, let's learn this riff so you can... Okay, so you can uh, practice this. A minor 7 is just a bar on 5 on strings 2, 3, and 4. Okay? 2, 3, and 4. With the open A string. That's it. So now I'm playing one, two, three, okay? Any arpeggio. Okay? Any arpeggio, I'm just playing three notes. And then I slap. And then I'm playing the bass and then another note of the chord. I can play the chord itself, okay? So it's one, two, three, slap, and then bass, and then any note of the chord or the chord itself. Okay? Now, after a few rounds, you can play zero, three on the sixth rank. Okay, so it's... Instead of instead of that bass chord at the end, okay, you can play uh, you can play um, one two three slap and then zero three on the bass. Okay, so it's okay. So that's your practicing riff. So um, when you mute. Okay, you want to keep your hand at a little bit of an angle because you only want to touch the bass strings. Okay, now that's up to you. Okay, to find the right angle where you only mute the bass string. Okay, okay it's not. It's not open. It's not completely open. Okay, you need to find that good, comfortable, convenient position for your own hand, right? Now, you start playing. Okay, now if you notice, the D string is also muted. There's nothing wrong about it. It's dynamic. It gives the chord color. Okay, you have two unmuted notes and two muted notes. So, you just have to find the right balance. Now, if I were playing any chord, okay, with the sixth string, it's still the same position, basically. Okay, and this C sharp bass is muted, and the high notes are not. So. So you practice this. Now, I want you to practice opening the bass note every now and then. Okay? Open, open it every now and then, and then go back to muting. Okay? Okay? Let it ring every now and then. Mute. Unmuted. Mute. Unmuted. Okay? Now, 
you hear me changing the riff. Just, you know, and I'm just practicing different rhythm patterns. Um, so if this is confusing for you, I apologize. Okay, I'm just playing music here. Um, I never like, uh, I, don't, I don't like to sound like an exercise. Nobody wants to sound like an exercise. So if your hands refuse to play the exact riff, okay, just like mine refuse to do it, it's, it's how you're meant to play, okay? You're meant to feel the music, okay? My dictum, the lick and riff dictum, you can't play what you can't hear, you can't play what you can't feel, and once you feel it and hear the music inside you, your hands follow, so let them follow, okay? Everything is fine if you're not playing it exactly right, okay? You're just playing a variation, so don't worry about it. Now, what I want you to do after you're used to it is play this open and then play the A note muted. Okay, so you play the E, G, okay? You play it open and then you mute the A note again. Okay? Or do it the other way around. Mute the, the E and G and then open the A. Okay, practice all the variations until you feel completely comfortable with this. Okay, so this is how you mute. Now, um, if, you're t if you want to mute, okay, you're playing crevice picking. It's the same thing. It's all about the angle of your hand. Okay? Okay? It's, it's the same thing, exactly. It's the same. Once you get uh, com uh, comfortable and convenient, I, I'm not... Why does my brain wish to, uh, to confuse those two words? Once you get comfortable with the, the hand, the palm angle, everything falls into place, okay? Trust me, that's right, crazy uh, motorcyclist. Now, before we go, uh, if you want some more in-depth uh, finger training, go check out the Complete Guitar Freedom course series, okay? On the website, lickandrev.com slash courses. It's 10 course modules that cover everything from ear training to rhythm to a finger style technique toolbox with every single technique I know. Okay, you can get the courses individually, but if you buy three of them, you get the rest for free. You get seven of them for free. So check it out, okay? Or if you're a beginner, Okay, and you're, you feel that you're not ready yet for the Complete Guitar Freedom Core Series, I also have the Ultimate Beginner Guitar Course, the Ultimate Beginner Guitar Masterclass, a seven-hour course. Check it out at lickandref.com slash beginner. Okay, and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.